Hi all, for TCS Code Vita Season 13, during the registration process for 2026 and 27 batch, those who are currently in third year or fourth year BTEC, you people are first suggested to register on this link one, create CTR DTID, then go to link two and complete the process. But for first year and second year students, you are suggested to directly go to link two. Okay, if you are done link one and link two also fine because that CTR DTID is required for interview process to track the results and all. Okay, uh, generally the opportunity for interview and maybe internship or full-time job is there for third year and fourth year students only. First year and second year students, they can just apply and they get the global rank that they can they can update their resume uh, mentioning, okay, I got so-and-so rank. That will be a good way it is during interview, right? So let's see about that link one. Okay, you go to link one. When you open this link, okay, next step link related to Tata Consultancy Services. You have to click on register. You have to click on register now. And you must and should select information technology only. By mistake, if you select an BPS, okay, uh, problem will come when there is a recruitment for a Ninja or Digital or Prime role. Okay, for, for that also the same CTR DTID will be given, right? So, other card also used. So, you have to select IT for engineering students. Then, if you click on continue, you need to enter your email id maintain some professional mail id right so you have to keep it for your uh, entire uh, career okay so create some professional mail id it will ask you for otp once you are uh, it is done authentication done then only we need to enter it next steps Clearly given the instruction, it should be your personal email ID, means at the rate Gmail likewise, not institute mail ID, at the rate ACE, at the rate uh, college mail ID, IR, at the rate KITE, if you should not use that domain mail ID, college email ID, domain mail ID is not allowed, you have to use only personal email ID, right? Certain times server may be busy, we need to wait for OTP, once done, we can start the process. Once you receive OTP, you need to go through your portal, that mail ID, Gmail, you just check and update here. So once you submit, they are giving five minutes time for that OTP validity. Once done, yeah, it's verified, then you have to continue. And it will ask you your Aadhaar card last four digits to avoid duplication. They are asking Aadhaar card last four digits. Your date of birth, first name and last name as per Aadhaar card you need to fill. To enter your Aadhaar card last four digits and your date of birth. Okay, I may be with... Okay, you have to go for date, month and year. First name and last name. Middle name is optional. First name is your name. Right? Maybe it will ask, uh, give the details like it's my data is already available. I am giving false details actually here. But in general, we should give only genuine details. I think last year I already registered. So I am just giving different details now. Star is mandatory. I agree. Continue. To avoid duplications, they are giving your last photos and they'll check this details at the time of your uh, 
exam okay if it is suppose tcs nqt exam at the uh, tcs ran center they will check even tcs code beta round 2 uh, as per last year you need to take exam from center so yeah and here your personal information need to be entered contact details nearest okay depends on your area somebody may be nearest is chennai so for someone it's hyderabad so just consider as per that education detail you have to select your college name they are given already drop down and uh, yeah in tamil nadu and in karnataka they call qualification as bachelor of uh, engineering but we, for apn telangana they will use bachelor of technology btech we have to go for btech bachelor of technology from drop down we have to select or we have to type there bachelor of technology year of passing okay if you are third year finally depends on that you need to mention advantage with tcs code beta is no need of uh, your percentage matter also whether you have 50% you have more backlogs also it's not a worry somewhere captcha empty i have to fill those details given certain details here your email id mobile number and all this cannot be changed in future so you make sure this detail is given properly okay once you confirm you cannot change it now you will get dtr ct id okay note down that details you will get it in for your mail as well yeah we have to confirm these details we cannot change it later now you got this DT ID as you are registering 2025 it will come as DT 2025 like that. Please 2026 it will come as DT 2026 likewise. Right. So if you are registering in this year for sure you will start with DT 2025 or CT 2025. Now note down these details. Okay. You can okay this details sufficient. Okay. See when you click on login and keep going updating your resume your 10th uh, details or intermediate uh, education details resume and all later you can do because for TCS code beta process this DTID is sufficient. Now what you have to do after that okay once you created CTR DTID using first step link one that is that is discussing for uh, third years and five years and uh, later when our time permits you people are requested to upload your resume and your education details and your experience uh, maybe if you are done with any internships and all okay then once you, for this registration process once you are done with ctid created now go to link to codevita.tcsapps.com when you click on it yeah here we will come for register once you click on register it will ask your email id Sign in to TCS code Vita. For uh, first year and second year students, directly you can come and do this. And here we have to register. Don't go for username or email. We have to click on register here. When you click on register, here it will ask certain details you need to fill. Mail ID maintain same thing. What you use it for TCS next step and here same. Now students from first year, second year, yeah, you can use any mail ID, fine. So select country or region, why sir? See this contest is conducted, uh, okay, last year more than 95 countries are attended, right? So first name, last name is not mandatory. So mail ID, I need to go for other one. Use the name if it is already used, you create new one.
only space is not allowed okay you have to use numbers underscore numbers are allowed and when you click on i agree it won't show there you have to scroll down and you have to accept here now click on register you need to download one authenticator app microsoft authenticator or google authenticator in the in upcoming steps okay if you already have that authenticator app fine so now i got mail where i need to do that verification of email id sir already we did sir that's for other now this is related to code waiter registration previously a tcs nqt portal were registered now i have to go for code waiter okay yeah, that's what i have to confirm click on it then we need to download that authenticator app once verification completed and until that season is completed you people are requested to keep that authenticator trap as it is yeah this is what you need to download google authenticator or microsoft authenticator then okay say i am downloading it in my mobile Okay. See, one mobile we can do only one time access is possible, right? So once you download, what you can do is you can scan. You have a plus symbol in Google Authenticator app. In okay, it is not there on screen, but when you download, you have a plus symbol. In add a code is one thing, or below we have a plus symbol. You have to sign in with the mail ID, which is same one. You have to download Google Authenticator app and uh, use the same email ID. Then go for plus symbol. There you have scan a QR code. now i am scanning that qr code which is here now it is displaying some number i need to enter that number okay it will be expired within seconds so it will create new one and all yeah now that is done now see if suppose by mistake you you use some mobile to scan your friend detail then go on one mobile one time only you can use one time only now see this is what 56% completed you need to complete it full so i am entering certain extra details here contact number it will ask you to enter otp yeah i received otp already so once you are done with that <clears throat> okay now next academic year pass dot i selected 2020 so now here sir why they are asking tcs location nearby first round you can take it from any place tcs code beta 6 question 6 hours but next round second round last year they conducted a ayan center so if you select depends on that you will get the nearby location you need to go so then select the college name now this ct or dt id is optional actually but for third year and final year if you already have the details it's happy because for a next level interview and all that's badly required okay here you can mention or you have to create it here so when you save it is 100% above then job is done so i'm saving now yeah here 100% so your job is completed now you can click on contest and you can practice sir fine this registration completed but what is the beauty in this thesis code beta uh, okay if you just go ahead with that code beta basic page they want talented people for sure dear so you can find okay you have prize money of $20000 if you go for top level and that's what first is 6 hours you have six programs okay if you solve two or three then fine you will qualify that round one and you will get global ranking as well and if you see yeah what languages are used sir yeah python java c hash perl php all this c okay c++ ruby right and you see last year 98 countries participated in global it's uh, not from ap or telangana or india we can participate from entire all over world a lot of countries have participated and 537000 contestants are there 3500 colleges have participated right and then if you see yeah these are different things or who are eligible any branch student are eligible and passed out years those who are joining first year right now okay our second year third year and final year students from any recognized institute are allowed right next if you go for here they given mock beta this registration done 
soon they will conduct two mock beta exams for six hours all and in general they conduct on sunday what is the benefit is you people can check your system whether the system is working properly or not because they don't want to miss the talented people they are giving two mock exams before so if you are unable to start the mock exam at least you can uh, see what is the issue you can identify during mock exam and you can rectify it and in the main exam the issues will be avoided right and further rounds also dates will be updated soon right okay initially first round 6 hour 6 questions then you have next round in ian centers then you have finale in mumbai or delhi they'll call for you regarding that finale round right and sample questions are already given in the website mock exams fine that you have 6 hour some deadline and all here they given sample questions okay easy level medium level all you can click on one by one and you read so this is what they want you people to know what type of questions they are giving not same questions will come but at least you will understand simple questions what level difficult questions what level medium questions what level so that you will understand the difficulty and you can work on it right so tcs is very fair thing okay they are giving all uh, chances for everybody there is no like uh, percentage criteria for this i have 10 backlogs 20 backlogs okay fine but if you are good in coding you can crack tcs code beta so focus on coding right now students who are first year second year third year you attempt it now you will get some knowledge next year you can crack better right you crack this time fine novels no problem you have one okay still more time but for fine years this is the last attempt so be careful practice more and more right all the best